In this video, I present you Agent CPM Explore, which is a 4 billion parameter agent model fine tuned from Coin3 4 billion, specifically trained to perform long horizon tasks requiring sustained interaction with tools and environments. This model is designed to execute complex multi step workflows that typically LLMs struggle with. Tasks like deep research, data analysis across multiple sources, web browsing with verification, and iterative problem solving that may require 100 plus sequential tool calls. I will be talking more around its architecture later down the road, but for now, let's get it installed. I'm going to use my Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card and VDRTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Please uh, consider mass compute if you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very, very affordable prices. I will drop the link to their website in the video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Let me now get clone the repo of this agent CPM. Okay, I think I already have it. So I'm just going to go into it. There you go. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so we have the repo now. And now let's download the model. For that, I'm just going to quickly install Hugging Face Hub library. And that should already be there on my system. It is. Okay, so next step is to download the model. So for downloading the model, I will just quickly create a new directory in my current repo. And I have gone into that repo. From there, so you can simply use Hugging Face CLI in order to download this model and the model is being downloaded so you see that i have just used a hf download which is a new syntax for it so in order to see this in action you would not only need this agent cpm but you would also need this going to 14 billion sorry i just keep forgetting the syntax so yeah so you would need both the models so i'm just going to download both models And while it downloads the model, let's talk more around this model and its architecture. There are a lot of stuff which is happening inside it. So very, very simply, the model operates within a three components ecosystem. First, they have something called as Agent RL, which is an asynchronous reinforcement learning training framework that taught the model to effectively use tools and plan multi-step solutions. Second, they have Agent Doc, which is a unified MCP server that provides sandboxed access to tools like web search, file operation, code execution, and browser automation. Then they have agent to leap, which is an evaluation platform for benchmarking agent capabilities. And there could be a lot of use cases of this model, including autonomous research assistant, complex data gathering, analysis task, automated web navigation, information extraction. So any workflow requiring iterative tool use with dynamic strategy adjustment, I think this could be a good candidate. Okay, let's go back to our terminal. Okay, so the models, both of them are done. Okay, so now when that's done, next step is to configure your Docker Compose file, which is in, you can create in the root of the repo, uh, or you can just get it from there, any of these directories. So I'm just going to go with this sglang. As you can see, you can use any other inference engine, but I would highly suggest go with sglang. If you don't know what sglang is, just go to my channel and search. I have done a separate uh, video on it. But the main point here is that we are going to serve this model with sglang. Okay, so that is done. Next step is to just specify some of the environment variables. Maybe we'll just go with the agent doc. And I'm just going to rename this file as .env. So I'll just remove this example. Let's click on it. And there are various uh, stuff here like MongoDB username is admin and MongoDB password from the root of the repo. Let me specify is at agent CPM123. And then you know what? If you have Gene API key for web content extraction, you can put it Google and whatever other things you want it to do. If you want to do the web search, I don't have the server API key, it's a paid option. And I really don't want to pay anything for the API for this. So I'm just going to keep it as is. So I have saved it. Next step, we need to go into this 
directory of agent doc there you go and from there make sure that you have docker installed i have this version of docker and now um, i can just simply run this docker compose up command to bring everything up and it is going to download everything and present it to us and this will take some time because it downloads a lot of stuff so just wait for five minutes okay eventually this is running let's quickly verify with docker compose ps and everything looks good and now let's get the sg lang image okay sorry just let me go to that directory and now it is downloading that sg lang i just misspelled the yaml to yml and that is and so primarily what we are trying to do here previously when we were working with that agent doc as you can see in this repo this agent doc this provides a tool like web search code execution file operation the agent can use and now we are downloading that sg lang which serves the ai models like agent cpm explore which is our brain and the coin which will be used as a backend processor and both will be running locally on our system okay so everything looks good both the models are now being served here and we are good to proceed and you can also check the vram consumption if you like so you see it is just using um, close to 29 gig of vram with both of the models okay so and cpu consumption is also high because most of the stuff is also being offloaded to cpu and by the way you can also verify it with the logs command so if i just run this you see it says that server is fired up and ready to roll and now let's orchestrate the complete agent workflow so what i'm going to do our models are running our agent is ready we are going to send our query to agent cpm explore which will be doing some web search some code execution file operation and then it is going to iterate up to 30 interactions you see it is running very fast locally it is calling tools processing results with quen processor and then it is refining its approach until the task is complete and it is just getting some top three papers from archive that is all i have asked it to do and there you go so it has returned me those logs and files and these are the papers which it has returned and of course you can put any task of yours um i think they have done really really good and if you go to my channel search with open bmb which is the company behind it they have been doing this uh, really groundbreaking stuff in agentic gui and agentic searching for some time almost one year and i have been covering their models from day one so i think this year they might also get viral just like deep seek so keep an eye on them that's it please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member please also follow me on x if you're looking for ai updates without any hype thank you for all the support